9303. I hope you enjoy this video. Warning, don't try anything I do without taking proper precautions. Protect your skin, eyes, and lungs. So this is part two of separating the golden chicken looking thing, which is actually brass, into copper and zinc. If you saw the first video, you know that we had issues with mechanical separation. That wound up costing us time and some of the material we were working with. Since I had the undissolved solid separated from the rest of the solution and the other sediment, I thought I'd try something different. If brass is annealed properly, it's very malleable and you can make it into shapes. But if it's not, it cracks. So I thought I'd try pulverizing it. Although this was making it smaller, I wound up losing a lot of pieces that bounced off. So maybe I'll switch it up. So I tried the same method inside a cardboard box to kind of catch everything. I would have liked to have made the pieces a lot smaller, but since my catch tray was a cardboard box, powder would easily get lost. So I got it smashed up into pieces that were as fine as I was comfortable with. And the resulting weight was 24.935 grams, which meant we had another total loss of 2.781 grams. So we're going to go back to dissolving again. We're going to put in our brass pieces and we're going to add 200 milliliters of the vinegar. another 50 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide and right from the start we're going to crank the heat all the way up so far we've added 1100 milliliters of vinegar and 350 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide including what we did yesterday we still have our liquid solution that we separated and we still have the sediment that we separated out also. I don't know if you could tell or not, but it was raining when I started and the rain got heavier, so I had to quit. And I didn't do a very good job of filming because of the rain, but the solution turned blue like it has been. And then it started to go more clear. This fairly clear solution looks like the undissolved pieces are copper plated. So we're going to add the clear part of the solution to the other part of the blue solution that we had from yesterday. These are the washed and dried pieces of undissolved metal. In there there were two visibly different types so I separated them as best I could and this is the sediment. It's kind of hard to see but it looks like a gray powder. Hey wait three. This is taking forever, and it doesn't seem like you're getting anywhere. Do you know what you're doing? Well, this is a learning experience for me. So, I'll tell you what I think's happening so far. This thing represents our beaker. So each time we've added our brass metal to the beaker, and then added our acidic solvent of hydrogen peroxide and vinegar, and then the copper and the zinc start to dissolve into the solution. Copper is less reactive than zinc, as you can see here on the reactivity series that I wrote. So that means that the zinc can act as a reducing agent, and once there's zinc and copper in the solution, as more zinc dissolves, it can displace the copper back out of the solution. Just to complicate things a little bit more, if there was silver in the metal and it was dissolved into the solution, it could be displaced by both copper and zinc. Based on the reactivity series, silver would precipitate out first, followed by copper, and then zinc would stay in the solution. Based on what I know and what I've seen so far with this, it seems like the plating occurs at the higher temperature, like when I turned it up to max and brought it to a boil. So all that could explain exactly what happened here since this was boiling the whole time. The mostly clear solution is most likely mostly aqueous zinc acetate. I put the two different types of solids into small Ziploc baggies 
and then weigh them. The larger copper-plated chunks came out to about 23.137 grams. These other pieces are very thin and very black, and I suspect that they might be mostly silver, although there will be some copper in there, but it's only about 36 milligrams, or 37, but it's milligrams. I decanted off as much of the liquid as I could from the sediment, and then I put it in a petri dish to air dry. I want to wrap up part two and get it out there. Hey, three, does this mean you're giving up? Are you quitting on me? No, absolutely not. Part three is coming soon. The end.